Oh, really, Miss West? You must take me for some sort of gullible fool. Do you mean I have been paying you a salary to have you come and tell me that the bandit of Sherwood Park is none other than Robin Hood? Poetic justice, don't you think? A trifle too poetic. And I think in this case, the scales of justice have been rigged. You don't think we'd make a thing like that up? Well, now, you know that's the only thing in your favor. It's so completely outrageous that I suppose it must be the truth. We didn't crack up that card just for kicks. And now I guess you're going to tell me that the reason he steals from the rich is to give it to the poor. Mrs. Murdoch, you've read the book. Madame, Dr. Ames has arrived. Ask him to come in, Annette. And stop ogling, Mr. Bolt. I'm sure he gets your message. Uh, yes, madame. The man you're about to meet is my analyst. I have been so full of anxiety over all these recent thefts that I, I simply had to have a few sessions with the doctor. I didn't know psychiatrists made house calls. Oh, he's my neighbor. Yes, he's rented that early American atrocity next door. Coffee grinders for lamps and all that. I heard that remark. And if I'm not mistaken, it was tinged with repressed anger and hostility. You're late. Well, you're not the only sick person in the world. I'm Gregory Ames. Miss West, Mr. Bolt. How do you do? How do, How you, do, do? you do, Doctor? Do do? I've hired them to protect my jewelry. Oh, good for them. Drink anyone? No, thanks. We're just leaving. And you'll never guess who it is they think the thief is. Alibaba. Robin Hood. Oh. Well, everyone's making it on pills nowadays, huh? I'm old-fashioned. I stick to gin. We'll keep you posted, Mrs. Murdoch. Good night. Good night, Doctor. Good night. My best to Robin Hood. Delusions of this kind are not uncommon. I had a patient once who thought he was Christopher Columbus. I prescribed a long sea voyage for him. I advise that you humor this Robin Hood. Gain his confidence, then capture him. We want to help him. We don't want to hurt him. He's really very nice. Nonsense. He's a thief. Why didn't you simply hunt him down and recover the jewels? Because he knows these woods better than we do. And I don't want an arrow through my gizzard. If we were to capture him, we might never find the jewels. We've got to convince him of our friendship, and the only way to do that is with a piece of jewelry. We thought, Mrs. Murdoch, uh, perhaps you wouldn't mind if we borrowed some little something, uh, your emerald necklace? A little something? Robin Hood's dementia seems to be contagious. Well, we know he's mad about green. Green boots, green suit. Miss West, I hired you to protect my valuables, and now you want to hand them over personally to the thief. It's the only way. Take him a piece of worthless paste. Although he may be mad, he's certainly no fool. He's stolen enough real stones to recognize a fake. Arouse his suspicion and he'll vanish with the loot. Whose side are you on? My apologies, my dear, but please do as they ask. The man must be apprehended. And to lure him here, we need bait. It's the best way, Mrs. Murdoch. Very well. I'll go and get the admirals. Well done, Maid Marion. Lieutenant. I don't believe it. Neither do the lieutenant. Mrs. Murdoch, I know this all sounds absurd. There are a lot of questions. There but... is only one important question, Mr. Bolt. Where is my emerald necklace? I gave it to Robin Hood. Oh, you did? And now this living legend has ceased living. Verily. Felled by some phantom archer. Well, I hardly think he bullseyed himself. <sighs> Miss West. What you did with my necklace is nothing short of out-and-out -out theft. I have telephoned my insurance company, given them all the details of this incident, and they're sending a lawyer out here tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Mrs. Murdoch, you have exactly 24 hours in which to return my necklace or face formal charges. You rang, madame. Show Miss West and Mr. Bolt to the door. The back door. Don't waste your charms on him. He's practically a convict. <laughs>